grade 10 learners. Our topic for today is rounding. Did you know that prices end with 99 cents to shift the focus of the customers from the whole number? So basically, when the price of the pint of milk is 25 rand 99, actually you don't even see that this is actually 26 rand. Why is it like this? Because 25 rand 99 looks much cheaper than 26 rand. Therefore, Rounding is the most important aspect in the business world because basically every amount is rounded off to the nearest 10 cent. As you know that the minimum coin that we have in South Africa is 10 cent. So let us look at the objectives for your lesson. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to use decimals appropriately when rounding off. You should be able to round money off to the nearest 10. You should be able to use the given context to round up and even to round down. And now let us have a look at the content that we are going to cover in this lesson. We are going to do rounding off, rounding off to the nearest 10, rounding down, as well as rounding up. So let us have a look at the pre-knowledge, what you've acquired in your previous grades before uh, that we can use now as we do this uh, rounding. The pre-knowledge that you are having is working with decimals. I hope you all worked with decimals in your lower grades. You were all able to determine the place value from a given number and also you were able to do the estimation. Remember, the estimation is the rough calculation of a value. So let us just do a little bit of practice just to recap on what you did in the lower grades. The first example, determine the place value of the following. Number one, four in 14. So what we need to determine is the place value of four in the number 14. So what is key is for you to be able to identify 14 as a number with two digits. Then let us have a look. What is it that you need to do for you to determine this place value? We are saying you should be able to write the place value of each digit. So in this number 14, the first digit is one, which is a tenth. The second one is four, which is a unit. So because the question was to determine four in the number 14, therefore we say four is a unit. So our answer will then be a unit. So this is possible if you are writing the digits and then you determine the place values of all the digits in your number. Let us have a look at the second example. In our second example, we need to determine the place value of seven in the number 10,753. So you need to identify the digits in this number. We have five digits in this number. So as we have five digits in this number, then we need to determine the place value of each digit of this number. So here's the worked out a table with place values just to uh, guide you. We say then one is a 10,000. It's in the place value of 10,000. And then the, uh, the place value for zero is a thousand. The place value for seven is a hundred. The place value for, ten, for five is a tenth. And the place value for three is a unit. Therefore, the question was to determine the place value of seven in the number 10,753. Therefore, we say the place value will then be a hundredth. Then let us have a look at the last example. Our last example, therefore, will be six in 12 comma 764. Now we have a different number. It's a number with decimals. So let us have a look at how we work out decimals. 
Okay, when you have decimals, basically, we're still looking at the digits. The digits that we have in this number are five. So since we have five digits once more, we are going to complete the table just to write the digits that we are having. So firstly, we will have a look at the whole number. The whole number that we are having uh, is 12. So in 12, we are having the digit one, and two, and one is a tenth, and two is a unit. Then we have a look at the decimal values that we are having. In the decimal values that we are having, we are having 0, 0.764. So after a comma, then we have 764. Then we say the decimal that we are having, we have seven, six, and four. Then the first value after a comma, it's a first decimal value, which is a seven. The second value, which is six, it's a second decimal value. And the third value, which is a four, it's a third decimal value. So remember the question was to determine the place value for six in the number 12,764. So now you can see that six is occupying the second decimal value. So this is so key uh, when we are going to do the rounding later on. Okay, now let us also look at the second example. To determine the, estimate, uh, the estimated values of the following, the first question uh, is 1,34 by 5,4. I hope you have your calculators with you and then you are calculating with me as well. Let us calculate together now. Uh, we multiply 1,34 by 5,4. I hope you have your answer now. The answer that we are having is 7,23. So now, I go back to the question of estimation. What is estimation? Estimation is finding an, appropriate, an approximate value by either adjusting upwards or adjusting downwards. So now, looking at this value, when we estimate if this value is less than five, we are going to eliminate the whole decimal. Therefore, we say this is approximately seven. Let us have a look at the second example, which is the last example. Of course, we are having 6,82 by 2,9. Let us get the answer together. Press your calculators as well. I'm having 6,82, multiply this by 2,9. The answer that I'm getting, therefore, is 19,77. Eight. Therefore, we say because seven after the comma, the first value after the decimal is greater than four, from five upwards, then we adjust upwards. By adjusting upwards, when we do the rough estimation, we mean that we add one to this whole number. Therefore, our whole number is going to be approximately 20. This is the rough work. Can we please take an ad break and then... Just have your water and come back. We'll continue after this.